Mr. Clark, it's uh, it's just it's very concerning because there are some inconsistencies in the timelines and the testimony that you are giving the committee today. So I'm just going to out outline the first one that is that is very concerning to me as well as the committee. So you get appointed in February of 2023. Then we see you in a motorcade April 28th of 2023 with the Prime Minister, the individual who does the appointments. And in that video, in the motorcade, you say that in fact the Prime Minister was over at your place the evening before the residence of the 27th. And then, lo and behold, Global Affairs Canada that had put the project of a new residence on hold, all of a sudden, after your appointment, your dinner with the Prime Minister, and then being in the motorcade with the Prime Minister, Global Affairs Canada decides that there are issues with the, the, the current residence and that it is time to look for a new residence, apparently a $9 million residence. Isn't that convenient? So can you elaborate for the committee again, please? What was your implication in discussing the new residence with, with the department and with the Prime Minister, when did you first bring it up with the Prime Minister? Because the chronology would definitely, chron um, the chronological timeline would definitely indicate that you had conversations with the Prime Minister about the residents. Because isn't that funny that you would be appointed, you would have dinner with the Prime Minister, you would be in a motorcade with the Prime Minister, and lo and behold, Global Affairs Canada decides that it's time for a new residence after that visit. Isn't that funny?